Hello, good evening and welcome once again to the second episode of three of our coverage of the NWFA League Cup Finals for 2019. We're here tonight at Clandyboy Park in Bangor and the match is going to be against St Oliver Plunkett and they're taking on Shamrock Ladies. Aideen, thoughts on this one? Uh, I don't know, Colin, the girls seem to be warming up quite good tonight. Um, I think it will be a close match, what do you think? I don't, this is the first time in two years we've covered St Oliver Plunkett, so I know nothing about them. I have to apologise to them for taking so long to get around them, but we're here tonight. I mean, you'd know a few of the girls, I'm assuming, from... I do, I do know a few of the girls have played against them. They've moved up a couple of leagues and they've come back down again. They've played for various different teams. I mean, Shamrock Ladies are quite a good team. They've been formed for a couple of years now. Um, they do have that bond over most other teams. They, all their players seem to be with them for years. Yeah. I haven't followed Oliver Plunkett myself, um, but, I mean... They've won the league this year. Yeah, they've won the league. So, so they're favourites. They are favourites indeed yeah. that's in this game, so hopefully it's good. Well, we've seen last year, obviously, Shamrock upset the odds, beating Lauren, if you remember, in the final last I year. Do, a fantastic yeah. game of football. But we'll see how it turns out tonight. Score prediction? I'm going to say 3 2 Shamrock Ladies. High score in final. I'd say that Shamrock will win, but a bit more comfortably 4 1. How does that sound? Oh. Okay, folks, enough talk. Here's the highlights. <laughs>
Yeah, start with yourself. First of all, congratulations on your win tonight. Must be well played. Yes, we are. We're delighted. Um, I think we maybe expected it to go a wee bit better. But in the first half, it was quite sloppy. Second half, we started to get the ball out and played some football, and it just fell for us, really. But Shamrock, they were a good side, and they were tough to beat. They always are. Um, we beat them twice before in the league, and we thought, I can't we'll go out and do it again. You know? so. When you went to go behind today, was there a bit of fear set in? Maybe thinking, maybe this is going to Absolutely, we were really, really unsettled coming in. The nurse kicked in with the girls in the first 20 minutes and we didn't set, settle down and start to play football until the second half. But uh, going forward, I think after we got past 60 minutes, we wanted to push and push and drive forward once we got the ball on the deck. It did the job for us, yeah, happy enough. Yeah. Okay, you've been promoted this season, so next season will be a wee step up for you. Yeah. So you get a wee break now and then in the preparation for that. Uh -huh. Now, recently there, just towards the end of the season, we've signed a couple of new players and we've also got a new coach in, so we're hoping now going up in the higher league that it's going to benefit us. And uh, we're quite confident that we can compete up at Division 2 because we've played friendlies against some of the teams there already, so we, know, we kind of know what we're up against. So. Okay, something interesting to look forward to. Anyway. Finally, a nice squad night for St. Oliver Plummer tonight. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't say so. Definitely not. I wouldn't say so. <laughs> oh, yes, definitely. Oh, it's party time. Thank you very much. So a massive congratulations then to Sir Oliver Plunkett on winning on the final. It's their 50th anniversary as a club this year, so it makes it extra special to win the double. So well done to the girls of St Oliver Plunkett. Moving on to our next final, and it's the Division 2 League Cup final, which sees us move to um, Mill Meadow here in Castle Dawson, and it's the final between Ballamacay's Ladies and Foyle Bells. Foyle Bells will start as clear favourites having won the league. However, both sides won League Cups last season, so it's very much open to see who wins this one. Should be a good game, so let's waste no more time and go straight to the highlights. Here we go.
So we'll start with you. Congratulations on a couple of nights. Must be absolutely delighted. Over the moon. We've had not the best season, but they come out in this cup final and won the whole way from the start. It was just unbelievable. The girls put in such a fight and we deserved it. Starting of tonight is underdogs. Obviously, you know, Foyle Bell's league winners. We're expecting probably to win this, so even double plays in We had to change it up a bit. Uh, Foyle beat us twice already in the league, so uh, we came in with a bit of a game plan. Uh, our manager, Curly, he uh, he told us basically go out, the team that wants it will win it. And fair play to the girls, every single person fought for their lives tonight, and that's why we came away with a win. Very well organised, thanks to the defence. Yeah, yeah, well, that's. Curly, we changed it up a bit. Um, we went three at the back. Um, and every, in training, we've been just working on it and just preparing, preparing really well. And it showed tonight. Go back to yourself, that's two years in a row you win that trophy. <laughs> double double, so to speak. Um, next year, you'll be making three in a row. Next year, we're looking at the league and the league cup. That's what we're after. That's the target next year? Yeah, that's the target. You set your target size and high then? Of course. All right, just to finish the interview then, just nice, sweet, quiet night back in Lisbon, I'm expecting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to oh, back early, early yeah. night. Yeah. As you can imagine. I don't believe it for one second. Not that day. Listen, girls, thanks for joining us tonight. Thanks very much. Thank you. So it's a massive congratulations then to the ladies of Ballamacay Young Ladies on winning their second consecutive League Cup final. Well done girls on a fantastic win. One more game to cover in this series and that's at Seaview and that's Saturday night coming up and that'll feature the championship final between the ladies of Lurgan and they'll be taking on Lisburn ladies. So it should be a cracking final if you're free to come down. It's a kickoff at 7.30 on Saturday night. Uh, feeling that, there'll be highlights once again later on this week. Thanks so much for watching today and for your ongoing support for women's football in Northern Ireland. And don't forget, girls get football.